Welcome to Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math. Well, summer is almost over. It sure went quick. Didn't it? Yep. There's never enough time to do all the nothing you want. Well, with Labor Day being over with, we are officially done with summer. And to start today's lesson, I was going to show you that here's what we want to accomplish tonight. First of all, I'm going to give you um, a heads up on what flipped lesson is all about. And I'm going to show you how to use the materials that you will need to do a flipped lesson. Then we'll go through a, a lesson tonight, do a couple problems together, and I'll show you what you're supposed to do on other nights of the week. First of all, a flipped lesson is very flexible. It's flexible for the teacher, it's flexible for the students, it's flexible for the parents. What it is flexible on is the expectations. When you go to learn something in this lesson, you are in these types of lessons, you're going to find that the expectations for learning and for doing your homework are completely different than what we're used to. It allows for a variety of learning models and when we come back to the classroom it's going to allow for group work or independent study in a variety of ways. And so I am going to be very flexible with showing you how to do this. In fact, for those that don't have internet you're going to find that my flexibility will be very according to what we can accomplish within the classroom, not within the internet or within the flipped lesson itself. So keep that in mind as you go forward with this new model. Some of the materials you will be needing. You'll be needing a folder, which you'll be getting today, and you'll be needing a notebook. And I will let you choose your notebook because then you will be keeping track of it. But within the um, folder, we'll record your reading each day. And we'll make sure that there's a way to also record how you've practiced your math. And that will happen within the notebook itself. As you'll be doing the following. It's called a WSQ. And what you need to do on this WSQ is what did you learn? You need to give a summary and you need to question. And what that means is when you come into your notebook, you're actually going to write down what you learned, give a summary of what you've learned, and a question. And I better change this because for the very first part of these flip lessons, I also want you to tell me when you did your flip lesson. And so this will actually be labeled the date that you're doing the lesson. Then you'll answer these three questions. The WSQ on your notebook in your notebook you'll answer when did you listen to the um, flip lesson? Who were you with? And what did you learn? And what also answers our summary? You're going to say that you learned about how to do the five times tables. And at the end of the lesson, I want you to create a question that you can bring back to the other students. Let's do a quick lesson. This is how our lesson will look. It's called Math Expressions, and that's the book that we will be using to do our math lessons. We're going to explore, apply, and problem solve a couple questions. Let's start out with modeling. Okay, there's two ways that I want you to practice this week. Skip counting by fives, five, ten, fifteen, etc. And also use your fingers. Put up your thumb, five. Put up your index finger, ten. Middle finger, fifteen. And see if you can do those two ways. The other thing is, um, if I type in a number right here, you can also count by 
twos or change that to fives and you find a multiplication table and you can actually go down the table and find 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. By using a table you can see the evidence right there in front of you. Well, let's see if you can make a multiplication equation using these pictures. If we notice there's one, two, three, four, four circles and each of the circles has how many stars? It has five stars in each circle so what we need to do is we need to write four circles times five and so we we're gonna check our answer here in a second and this is the way I wrote it and you should write this in your notebook let's check our answer and oh we should have put what it equals well we should can still count we have five stars ten stars fifteen stars twenty stars and that's where we're gonna stop this part of the lesson our second problem I want you to look at this question and I want you to write an equation for the picture stop the video and see if you can figure this out how many circles are there times how many diamonds are in each circle equals how many total? So if you've done your equation right, you should have something like 7 times 5. If you have the answer, now see if you can check your answer. And your answer is 7 times 5 equals 35. If you put that in your notebook and got it right, pat yourself on the back. Now for a real life example. At home I'm sure you have something that you can sort. I'm going to take these M&Ms and look at them. I could sort them many different ways. So your assignment is to see if you can sort something, see my M&Ms, by your choice. But you have to sort them to be able to count them and bring back an example of what you sorted and counted. So if you look at my M&Ms in this um, bowl, I could have sorted them by color or I could have sorted them by size or type. Inside this bowl of M&Ms I had plain M&M's, mega M&M's, and peanut butter M&M's. So I could have done it several different ways of sorting. But your assignment tonight is to find something that you can sort and count. And that brings us to the very end of our assignment. And I want you to remember to do your WSQ, when, who, and what did you learn from the video? A summary is what exactly did you learn? And question. Give me a question. In this case, tell me what you sorted. And that's all for tonight. If you have any questions, remember we have a couple days to answer those questions in class. Or you can message me with the class dojo. Thank you, and good night. To finish tonight's lesson, I'm going to leave with you a suggested homework schedule. Notice I have Monday through Friday, but Friday I try to reserve to make sure that you have your family time. So what you need to do is, if you look, Monday through Friday you should be reading. On Mondays and Wednesdays, 
the flip lesson will be ready to go. That means on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, you should do extra practice on especially your times tables. So this is just a suggested homework schedule. Um, if you do have questions, you may ask me in school tomorrow because we will be doing the flip lesson tonight for homework and then you have till Friday to finish it. You may also um, get on Class Dojo and message me or you may have your parents email me. Those are a couple ways you can contact me, but remember, this is a work in progress. We're going to learn as we go. Thank you. And that is how a flip lesson works. Goodbye.